Oh, memed, memed because of the f animation. <laughs> Stupid animation. Okay. I see. All right then. Me, my oh no! 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 Oh, he looted the health thing on the ground. This guy, man. I mean, I could disable the auto heal, but no, 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 no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna turn it off. Yeah, I set it up to automatically pick up the green stuff. I should just not walk over it. That would be a much easier way of fixing it. Then I have to go into the settings and change it again after the combat, guys. That sounds like a lot of effort, okay? Instead, I'll just try to not be an idiot. That's difficult for me. Oh no, there's a heal! Oh, we're fine. Oh no, dead. You see, you see the meme? You see the meme? My animation is slower, then he starts up his animation and does the burst. So I cannot react anymore when I've picked that thing up. Like when I've started L1 R1ing, you cannot stop the red attack if he executes it. There's a green thing on the ground. Careful, Loco. Pick it up, pick it up. Okay, I picked it up. No! What? Oh! <laughs> 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 Memed, man. Okay, I was actually trying that attempt. Some of the previous ones were complete dog <laughs> That one was a little silly. Okay, okay. Man, he didn't even have HP anymore. <laughs> Jeez. Should have just shot one arrow. Would have been fine. I thought he was dead already. Kill steel. Kill steel. Come on, Freya! Why'd you get- Okay, fine. Fine, I'll win. Fine, I'll win. Good riddance, you feckless ball bag. You knew this warrior. Do you mean First try, baller? baby. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. That was actually really fun. You imagine me in really short shorts? <laughs> Wait, are you talking about Mia Garing? Those are real- Oh, you mean meerkats. Yeah, meerkats probably wears those like- yeah, yeah, they're really, they're really tight shorts. Wouldn't be surprised. You have guys in the gym, though, that have, like, shorts that are, like, literally, like, right there. I, I'm not, I'm not convinced that that is the look, man. But usually it's the really muscular guys as well. Like, for some reason, it's, like, the really tight shorts and then the oversized hoodie. I'm not sure exactly as to why that, that is the combination guys have settled on, but... This is just an old man reacting to, uh, you know, youngsters' fashion. Did you hear about the girl who quit her job at the donut factory? She was fed up with the whole business. Can we ban Muktafus again? Or, I mean, for the first time? I feel like it's just a good idea for all of us. Thank you very much, Muk. I appreciate you, man. I'm just kidding. Please keep up the puns. I just gotta act cool in front of my friends, so, you know, they think I don't like it, but, uh, you know, you know how it is, right? Look, so Hilda, here's what we need, okay? Stuff, things, pieces. For your nerds, what did the drunken hobbit say when he bumped into the wizard? Saru man, I didn't see you there. Thank you very much, Muktafuzz. <laughs> Saruman seems like a nice guy, just misunderstood. I might need more food, to be honest, because I don't have a lot of... Like, here's another life. bad dad joke for the continuity. 
I used to be addicted to soap, but I'm clean now. Excellent, excellent. Yo, thank you for all the great content, Loco. Hope you've been having a great day. I've been doing great myself. Here's to many more months of subbing. Inverted exclamation. Brian, mark, inverted what the f was that? Mark, inverted exclamation mark. Inverted exclamation mark. What just happened to Brian there? <laughs> Brian, Brian was reading that like it was the most excited thing he's ever heard in his life. That intonation was not entirely right. <laughs> Thank you, Santa Stoke. God, every time I hear Santa Stoke's name, I think of that stupid clip. That's that's one of my favorite clips from the stream from the last couple of months. It's 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 a short, okay? So you gotta you gotta be a little anyways. This is from when we played Trombone Champ. Let me let me mute the game real quick. If I can. I don't know how. There we go. Okay, okay. Flawless! Bring out the air horn! Here comes Sentastoke. New subscriber detected. Dum 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 has got some very difficult shoes to fill moving forward, man. Those those resub messages have been quality. I don't know what changed just now to the intonation of Brian's voice, but I liked everything about it. I wonder if Brian will be hyper with my message as well. I would love it. He How did not care. How is doing on this wonderful Friday? He did not care about you one bit. Sorry, Ace. Hate to break it to you, man. Thank you, though, for the 300 bits. It probably had something to do with the include or inverted exclamation mark. It probably had something to do with that, but... Does Brian like to eat banana na 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 I think so, man. Good question, by the way. Love that. Trying it again to see if no punctuation and inverted exclamation marks will help. Also, why did the eggs all break? Because they cracked each other up. Inverted exclamation mark, inverted exclamation mark, inverted exclamation mark, inverted exclamation mark, inverted... Thank you very much, man. You need more ballons and minerals, you're almost out of gas, watch out, filling rush, inverted exclamation mark, 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 I have no idea, but Brian starts, that makes no sense, but it's okay. What's really weird is that I'm an extrovert, but my wife is an inverted exclamation mark 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 Your wife is an inverted exclamation mark? I don't... I don't even know, man. Good for you, maybe? Did you know trees poop? How else do we get number two pencils? Ha ha, so funny. Inverted exclamation mark. Inverted exclamation mark. Inverted exclamation mark. Inverted exclamation mark. There's something about the inverted exclamation marks that throw them way off, man. Exclamation mark. Inverted exclam. Ha ha ha, I love this also. Why is this so hard to type in some random message? So just go play Callisto Protocol. Inverted exclamation mark, inverted exclamation mark, inverted exclamation mark. I don't know why. I don't know why things mark, get inverted weird. Exclamation mark, inverted. I'm not sure why things get weird, but uh. Don't forget to subscribe to Local TV on Twitch using Twitch Prime and also don't forget to use Brian as much as possible. Inverted exclamation mark inverted exclamation. 
mark inverted exclamation mark inverted exclamation mark inverted exclamation mark invert I am very confused by Brian gets a little wild here, but you know what? I'm glad he enjoys himself. It's the end of the week for everybody. Inverted exclamation mark is just I prove me wrong. <laughs> oh, okay, I see what you mean. I was trying to make this. I was trying to make things. Don't need that anymore. Stop making that. Pushing the train along. I thought we needed more inverted exclamation mark 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 so here goes. Thanks, choo choo man. chugga 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 choo choo inverted exclamation mark in I agree. I 100% I agree dude. Bring on the Brian spam. I need 19 gold. Inverted exclamation mark. Pogo 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 pogo. Starting to wonder if 20 or 12 seconds was too much, guys. Twelve seconds might be a little bit on the on the longer end of things. Payday loco. That's true. That's true. Why do Koi only travel in groups of four? It's to protect against predators. Dot when they're attacked. Koi A, B, and C travel in one direction. Dot the other is the decoy. Inverted exclamation mark. Inverted Jesus exclamation Christ. mark. Inverted exclamation you mark. You gotta put. Exclam you, <laughs> you can't just keep typing. Brian's gonna read it like that. Pogo 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 inverted exclamation mark 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 inverted He turned it into pogo to be fair, it's really hard to control this latter game, Kratos. You need a hockey for Kratos to counter all of his guard. Plus, you need Kratos to nuke Thorf on orbit and Kratos to snipe Odin's Raven so that Kratos doesn't die. Inverted what ex mark inverted exclamation. As a cherry on top, I found a wooden shoe in my toilet today. It was clogged. My girlfriend met Bjorn and Maru while accidentally holding my sign. I just want Terran to lose. <laughs> that is fantastic. Yeah, that's what the sign says. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. I can do this. I've seen a TikTok guy do this. He cuts trees in, in two. There's a lot of uh, ladies leaving a lot of thirsty comments. You guys seen the, the videos I'm talking about? <laughs> this is a guy. <laughs> just with a f axe. <laughs> and all he does is split a bunch of logs in twos. He's got... Probably a hundred videos of him splitting logs. Which really doesn't sound particularly exciting. But the entire comment section is really mostly mostly just middle-aged women going absolutely wild. <laughs> it's actually fantastic. And he knows exactly what he's doing as well. We need a link for research loco. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um hold up, can I show this? Here you go. This is uh it's in German. I'm not too So all he, this is what he does. This is every video he does. <laughs> it's like, okay, we gotta go now. It's raining outside. <laughs> He's gotta clean the axe. Obviously very important. <laughs> So this is his full channel. <laughs> and he's got 7 million followers. I love everything about this guy. He's just got video. <laughs> it's just video after video after video of him chopping a bunch of wood. 
Well, not only that, I see. Anyways, it's important. That's where you look right, right? When you cut the wood as well, Megetsu? For the winter time? My girlfriend watches this video as all day, Loco. <laughs> You'd watch me chop wood? It'd be very pathetic, man. Do you need me to go grab another rock? Alright, I'll grab another rock. Here we go. <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think Kratos would have seven million followers. I don't think so. He's really good with the axe. He's very powerful, very strong, but I don't think it was about the wood. You think he'd have seven billion? I think he'd have like four. Guys, I saw this amazing post. I, I forwarded it to Rushy because it kind of looked like something Rushy would have written. This is just amazing, man. I found this on Reddit this morning. Someone apparently made a blog post called Not Our Game. As longtime readers know, I'm a huge fan of football, quote unquote, soccer. So I was quite distraught that Team USA was booted out of the World Cup last week. This, however, got up my nose big time. Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte told, trolled President Joe Biden on Twitter, poking fun at the US men's soccer team's loss to the Netherlands in the World Cup during the first round of the tournament's knockout stage on Saturday. In a promotional video posted Saturday morning, Biden had wished the US team luck as the players prepared for their match against the Netherlands. Holding a ball in front of the White House, Biden said that it's called soccer before reassuring the team, you're gonna do it. Following America's 3-1 loss on Saturday, Rutte responded to Biden's tweet saying, Sorry, Joe. Football won. No, Dutchy. Soccer won. Had your little nation of Heinekeners fielded a team of NFL-type footballers and played us at oh, Lambeau Field in late December, you would have lost by a lot more than 3-1. We're not that good at soccer because we just don't care about it. It's pretty much the same as Formula 1. We have perfectly good alternatives right here. Oh, and now that the Germans have been eliminated, you may actually have a chance of winning the cup instead of being beaten like a uh, drum by uh, 1939. And speaking of the disturbance in the early 1940s, you're welcome. <laughs> For someone who says he doesn't care, he seems to care a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty obvious that uh, he, he seems... <laughs> <laughs> What a great post. I love everything about this one. What does he mean with this? Had your little nation of Heinekeners fielded a team of NFL type footballers and played us at Lambeau Field in late December. What is this? What does this mean? What is Lambeau Field? Is he talking about if the Dutch national soccer team would have played a different game? That's what he's saying. It's so, it's so stupid. Yeah, it's a 100% straw, man. It's not even a... Uh, 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 uh. Anyways, came across this gem. Thought it was pretty funny. Wanted to share with you guys. Loco, when's the last time you bought flowers for Loran? Before we had cats. It's been a while. I found out after we got cats that like to eat literally everything. Like, Toby literally eats toys we get him. Like, say say we have, like, one of those cat toys, he will consume said toy. He will believe that it's actual, like, you know, an actual prey. So I don't really, uh, like, like the vast majority of plants are, or, you know, not the vast majority of plants, but flowers are not good for animals. I think the real build order, though, is to only buy flowers every once in a while, guys. I used to be the kind of guy who would buy flowers every week, sometimes, you know, every two weeks. That's what I used to do. And I noticed a very distinct trend. Let me plot it out for you real quick. This is an important uh, thing to, uh, you know, for the, for the younger viewers in the chat. I feel like this is an important little bit of experience that I have to share with you. Okay, so here's, here's, the, here's the graph, right? Here's the price of flowers. Here's the price, right? The price of flowers remains pretty similar, AKA expensive, right? You can spend 20 bucks on flowers easy peasy, right? So this is a constant right over here. There's the constant of the price of the flowers. I'm gonna call this $20, even though I don't pay anything in dollars. At the same time, I also wanna just show you guys the happiness that it provides for the person you give them to. Now it starts somewhere over here, but as time goes by, they almost expect it and they get to the point where it no longer there's diminishing returns and you got to figure out where that spot is now one thing i've noticed is this depends this graph right over here depends on how frequently you give flowers so you could make this interception point happen right over there by for example buying flowers once a month 
that would probably make the decline slightly less steep. But I think the real build order win, the real move to make, is to just do it every once in a while, right? So you buy flowers on only special occasions, which will also, like maybe it doesn't give you as much happiness at the very start, but it will give you a net positive and it will always like stay above that $20 line. I think that's what you need to do. So only for like anniversaries, Valentine's Day, that sort of thing. As an apology, yeah. What is your backup plan if you give flowers every week, chat? How are you gonna apologize if you give flowers every week? Are you gonna buy flowers again? What are you gonna do? You're welcome, man. Loco dating with a spreadsheet? You got a min-max. <laughs> now, honestly, I haven't bought flowers in a while because we have cats. We have cats now. If you have any other follow-up questions, I am more than happy to help. Triple Bolt God! <laughs> What? Your was Are you kidding me right now? He was dead. That's so stupid. He had no HP. Man. You know what I found out, guys? Kalaris told me about this. Did you guys know, and this is gonna ruin some of you guys' childhood, okay? If you watched a lot of Pokemon back in the day. I don't know how credible this is, but maybe the Pokemon nerds in the chat can let me know. Pokemon fans are just finding out that Ash once named his Pikachu. And he named his Pikachu... Where is it? Jean-Luc Pikachu. The third chapter in the Pokemon manga, The Electric Tale of Pikachu, which loosely follows the same events as the anime, shows Ash discussing the various names he's gonna be given his Pokemon. During the conversation, Ash says that he's called his Pikachu Jean-Luc. That's so bad! <laughs> Mais oui, uh, je m'appelle Jean-Luc Pikachu. Uh. That's so good though, man. It's bad, but you know, it's a Star Trek reference. Right, I get that, but Ash is a Trekkie. Yeah, yeah, he's a Trekkie. I'm going to replace Pikachu's ears with baguettes. <laughs> okay, okay, it was a prank, it was a prank, it was a prank. I was just... Fine. That's right. Run! Up this way. There's a way back to her kitchen. Where are you? You sure you want to go back there? I told you, we have to. I can Grandma hear is stuck. you. I think I've seen that in a video. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. I can't. This is too much. It's too easy. Over there. Got to destroy that cauldron. Oh, no. She's not stuck. She's stuck. She's fine. It is Christmas time. How does the chat like pudding? Pudding these nuts in her mouth. Ah. I knew it was coming because I already read it, but... Yeah, there's a hole, but... Does that work? Oh, I can go through this hole. Okay. I can't go through the other hole, but I can go through this. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I did it. It has to be a very specific place, okay? Not every hole is a hole, Chet. I was on the, the wrong hole. I hate it when that happens. Hello? Touch it. Touch it. Put your dick in. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. What are you... Why did you do that, me? Oh, what? Brother, get up, brother. Left leg. Don't touch it, man. Don't f***ing touch it. Why did I touch it? I was gonna put my... Uh... I don't need to touch it. Whoa, what the... F Yo, that was bull... Oh, what the f man? I just, I just took so much damage. He, he didn't even do anything. The combat just does, doesn't, it doesn't feel that good to me. I don't know why. Like, it's not because I'm failing this fight or whatever. That's not the problem. It's just, I don't know. Don't rage quit. Good on, not you. No, 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 no. I haven't rage quit a game in a very long time. You're on fire, Kratos. Like, I just took so much damage. Kratos, we need you. From not- like, I don't know why. Like, I was stuck in an- <sighs> You get stuck in an animation, and then you take a stupid amount of damage, and you're like, okay, that was it. Toxic behavior, man. See, my problem with this game is that I have absolutely no skills in planning ahead at all. 
I just kind of place where the One Piece is going right now, but I don't really look at what's coming in next. <laughs> Why? Again, the same guy! What? Hello! Hello! Getting bullied in Tetris? The worst thing is that they actually purposely build up so high just so they can send more to the other people. Like, it's a game choice, you know? Like, Sero purposefully doesn't make units in the early game so he can maximize drones. It's it's not a bug, it's a feature. Okay, well now it's becoming a bit of a bug, though. Yeah, overdrone. Overdrone, dude. Nederland. Oh, Nederland. I would. For those of you just now tuning in, this is me playing, by the way. In case you're confused about what's happening. Are you kidding me, bro? You were so dead. Dude, that was sick. Yeah, yeah, I was playing left hand versus right hand. I was playing both sides, actually. No, all jokes aside, that was sick. Gain 30 meat every time a villager dies or leaves? <laughs> hey, that's why I got so much money. I picked that, like, contract that allows me 10 gold every time someone leaves. Okay. Honestly, mate, I think I'm going to sell you some more. I don't really need that many of those. No! That's stupid. Why did I do that? I forgot putting in the gold. I thought it would give me the fucking gold. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, that's not good. That's stupid. F*** me. I needed to set the ember so I could... I want... <laughs> Thank you, Dollahan. Love you, bro. Son of a bitch. Taking that... Re <sighs> I did that for the content, actually. That was all by design. I did that on purpose. This is a quick reminder of the Chatazon. I need to go to... Uh, the yellow thing. How do I go? Yell yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Add to the compass. Good. You're right. Oh, it's literally... <laughs> there are most certainly other corrupted sisters out in the realms. <laughs> you always know how to I need a Google Maps, okay? Aesir uniform? I can upgrade oh, my gear over here. Mostly equipped. What needs work? Whoa. What the f <laughs> What the f My phone was trying to call someone. Did I say anything that was even remotely close to Hey Siri? Okay. My phone just started talking to me all of a sudden. Stop activating my phone. Oh, I said Hey Siri? <laughs> I, I guess I did say Hey Siri. Yeah. Hey Siri, call mom. <laughs> No! Oh my god, no! <laughs> it was actually calling mom. Hold up, hold up. It actually works! A seer. You see, it activates. A seer. That's hilarious. Maru sneezes in a game versus stats. Alright, I'm sure this is gonna be good content. Let's see, guys. Bro, he doesn't even cover his mouth. He just f sneezes all over the keyboard. Bro, Maru, that is terrible sneeze micro, man. That's disgusting, dude. Okay, we're gonna watch it again. He just starts sneezing. Actually, you know what? He's actually microing the raven. <laughs> it's not disgusting, chat. I'm sure he does it normally, but he's microing the raven. Yeah, he, there's no, there's no APM required for covering your mouth. Are you more or less tilted than me last night? Bro, I saw that little clip that was posted in the Patreon group chat, Echo Soldier. Echo Soldier was complaining about an early game play while having 800 minerals in the bank while losing to slow zerklings. <laughs> Someone linked the clip. Someone linked the clip of you having 800 resources in the bank while losing to slow zerklings. It was really quite impressive. You were getting very salty about how zerk is OP. Here it is. A little bit of salt. All right, let's see. Zerk players should feel bad. Let's have a look, man. Let's have a look at the salt. Are you kidding me? I hate Zerg, man. This is so dumb. 
<laughs> Losing to slow Zork clicks with 800 minerals or 600 something minerals and a bunch of gas in the bank. You love to see it. Whoa, you're using this as an opportunity to sell out in my chat? Hello, Echo Soldier? This guy, man. He's trying to harvest the salt. Can you believe it? <clears throat> Smart man. That's the way to do it. Never stop the grind. <laughs> Hashtag grind set mindset. Get him, Freya! Bro, what the f man? What is even dealing so much f damage to me? I'm gonna let Freya do it. Freya, kill him! Freya, he's coming your way! Freya, I don't like this. Face thing. No! Come on, Kratos! Wait, he died! He died! He gates. died! No, he's not dead, is he? He died though, I saw him die. Bro, I swear to God. I am so unlucky today. This sucks, man. Oh. He's not dead. Me, man. Ay, 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 ay. He was at no HP, though. How does he roll behind a wall suddenly into my arms? Like. I'm not gonna risk it. I think I can get him now just by punching him. Unless I might accidentally die again. I don't know, man. You never know. Oh, well, he's not dead. Armstunga! Bit of a kill steal right there, but this time around I'll, uh, I'll allow it. That was one of the worst side <laughs> bosses in the game. Are you kidding me? In before I die here and peasant save. <laughs> Oof. Okay, okay. Hello, Loco. I was told that my dad jokes archive is outdated. I reflected on that. So, I went with the time and proudly present my newly built low cool duck. What? Your dad joke archives is okay to, uh, outdated, so you reflected on that? Welcome to my off fish. Oh my god. Uh, what's up, Makdavas? Good to have you back on the stream, dude. I wasn't sure what I was looking at until I read the text. I was like, what in the world is even going on here? Whoa, whoa! High confidence, high testosterone move right over there from my opponent, bro. What in the world? Just amazing. <laughs> he took it! No, it was a prank, dude! <laughs> Every time I make a mistake, I found my new favorite button. The take back button, where we can go, we can go back one round. That's an amazing button. One of my favorites. Some random guy walked on stage and just shouted out Bill Clinton at the Game Awards. Wait, what? <laughs> it's like an esports streaker, I guess. It's a bit. I want to thank everybody and say that I think I want to nominate this award to uh, my reformed orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> what? What just happened there? Was that guy supposed to be on stage? Was he like? Because he looks like he looks like he belongs there. That's hilarious. He looks like. <laughs> He looks like he belongs there, man. The guy's got great hair. That's amazing. <laughs> I like how the other people are just kind of standing around. They're like, yep. Well, we'll be uh, taking over as soon as this guy's done. That's funny. All right. That is uh, very random, but fair enough. He's just a big fan of Bill Clinton, apparently. Maybe he had a check mark on Twitter. Yeah, maybe, bunny. Maybe he paid eight bucks. It allows you to be on stage. He got arrested afterwards? Arrested for what? It appears that a random kid ended up on stage with the Elden Ring team and interrupted by mumbling something completely unrelated. 
After the Game Awards ended, the host confirmed that the Hope individual has been arrested. Thank you, Mass Caller. Why did he get arrested? What for? I feel like I feel like they just called the police and the police were like, yo, bro, what are you doing? And he was like, yeah, I just walked into the stage and said something in a microphone. And they were like, don't do it again. I feel like that's probably what he means with getting arrested. Yeah, exactly. Just to get him out of there and then, you know, let him go again. Because they have... What do you do? <laughs> Jeff did not look happy. To no surprise. But shortly after the event, he announced that the Game Awards reached record high viewership peaks on YouTube and Twitch. <laughs> They're still gonna... Like, we wouldn't be still talking about this if it wasn't for the guy. Of course, trespassing is a crime. But I guess he just... I don't know how it works. I'm not sure exactly how the rules work in these kind of situations, but it does seem like a pretty minor thing. Is the Will Smith slap all over again? Yeah, yeah, it is a little similar in that, yeah. I don't think it was, uh, I don't know what the rules on trespassing are, but I can't imagine that that would be considered trespassing. Ah, yeah, this is the game that Thor linked me. It's a very Christian game. Speaking of evolution chambers, this game is literally called, I, I can't, I can't figure out if this is, if this is an un- like, is it just trying to be a graphic novel? You can literally play- like- <laughs> Defeats- It's so stupid. Coming out in Q2 of 2023. Become the Messiah. What is- it? it feels wrong. It really doesn't feel right. Quest, defeat Satan. <laughs> that is not ideal. Okay, there's a couple more links. I don't know if there's anything up here. I'm just gonna YOLO it. Oh crap, there is. Jimmy! Jimmy, stop moving back! Freaking Jimmy, dude. Okay, go, 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 go! Jimmy! Jimmy! Did I make it? I made it! Robbed. Robbed! Jimmy didn't make it. Who cares about him? We made it. The mystery of a beard. <laughs> ah, busted! Busted tasteless. They put something in the beard to make it colorful. <laughs> that is interesting, actually. Thursday and today. Old school RuneScape, baby. There it is. You know what, though? Tasteless pulls off both. Over here, he's suited up. He's got like, uh, you know, this is, this is not a suit anyone can just wear, okay? You might look really funky if you wear a suit, but, but he pulls it off. But he also pulls that off. He pulls off the second look as well. Amazing. Me and the boys balancing StarCraft 2. People keep talking about how the new patch is very Zerg favorite, guys. Is it though? A little bit. I, a little bit, yeah. Fix the bug where non-Zergs can win tournaments. Buffed underutilized Zerg units to reduce the frustration of wrong unit choice. Yo, yo, hold up right now, man. What is this? Every patch is Zerg favorite. Okay, I need balanced dream team meme. And now, after years of Zerg dominance, they let Zerg players balance the game and they blatantly buff Zerg. And then they have the balls to hide even more buffs for them without communicating them while they nerf Protoss and Terran. I don't know, man. Yeah, Scarlet is the only one talking about the patch. Or at least one of the few pro gamers that, like, helped work on this patch that now, for some reason, is catching for this because she talked about it. This one's great. This, this one this one I saw a couple days ago. This one's great. Game starts with mineral trick, thoughtful build order, and other pro gamer clicks to warm up fingers. To finish in macro game with 5k in bank, forgotten upgrades, and stupid F2 army. <laughs> the picture of this horse is so perfect with everyone's intentions of a StarCraft game. You start off with a beautiful split. You stack your minerals, right? So you make sure that you only mine the close by mineral fields. You make sure your first couple units and structures are built at the perfect time. But slowly, stuff starts spiraling out of control. And in the end, it's just two guys throwing at one another, trying to make the best of a bad situation. <laughs> yeah, perfection slowly dies. 
That's the goal of StarCraft 2, man. To just, you know, try to not f up. That's the main goal. Whoever doesn't f up for the longest probably feels best. Luckily, you play on a, on a MacBook. I usually play on a computer, but I sometimes do play on my laptop, yeah. Yesterday, uh, Milo was helping me out with a Steel Dragon Slayer task in Old School RuneScape. He must have sat there for like 20 minutes just staring at my monitor. And at some point, he hit my monitor. That may have not been ideal. I uh, posted it on my Instagram story. <laughs> He's just looking the entire time. <laughs> just staring. Staring at the red dragons. Very important to keep an eye out. <laughs> to be fair, cat vision is not very good, right? So this is probably what they see at like short range. Like the blurry, or is it? The blurry thing. This is probably, no. Why can I not pause? What? Ha! Zuckerberg, your website's not working. Pause. There you go. This is probably roughly what he sees, right? So the red outlines um, definitely make it very easy to spot this unit. I'm pretty sure this is roughly what he sees. He just stares at the red stuff. Local looking at watches. Always, dude. There you go. What is Rainer up to? We can stalk Rainer. I can't read that. All right. Very interesting. When your map awareness is so bad that you don't realize they build a turret in your main. How did you, how was, <laughs> bro, this guy is on like five bases, but he's got 6,000 resources in the bank. Red Terran player is super dead. Like they're at 80 supply. How, what just happened here? What is going on? This whole game is a disaster. Okay, let's read the YouTube comment section of the Realize balance video that I've uploaded, guys. Curious to see how well the YouTube comments are taking the changes. I like how literally every SC2 channel is discussing patch notes today. What do you mean? The dreaded ghost nerf, oh no, so ultras are no longer paper lists. Range slop, the range of which a kiting unit has to move away before the attack animation cancels. Right. Good to know they still care about the game. I need to see how Max Patch reacts to this. <laughs> <laughs> is this guy suggesting Max Patch is a patch toss? I have not learned, I have not seen a lot of people, okay, I, I think that's what he's saying. Why, man? That was uncalled for. My favorite unit, no longer a lose button, maybe, please. Ultralisk noises. How about freaking buffing Zerg anti-air? When you have to rely on queens as your anti-air for early game is sad, especially when queen marches are relatively rare now that creep tumors are even more nerfed. Like for crying out loud, just buff the spore crawlers. Didn't they just buff the hydralisk and nerf the carrier? Why the spore crawler of all things, bro? I actually think they should nerf spore crawlers. I think they should nerf all static defense in the game, because it's boring. <laughs> we need specific spore buffs. Why the f spore crawler? Who likes spore crawlers? Who's like, ooh, I'm gonna do a round of StarCraft 2. Can't wait to make spore crawlers. Like, that doesn't happen, man. I, I really... They killed Terran, lol. Ghosts are already hard to use. Zerk is supposed to be rather groundbound due to style. Yeah, it's a stylistic choice. Skirt says otherwise. And that video has only been up for half an hour, guys. The comment section on balance-related videos is always Buff next swarm level. Host slow go. Hey, what's Moving. going on, Engie? No, 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 no. We definitely do not want to buff swarm hosts. Swarm hosts are the worst Zerg unit, and they sh they should be, okay? We should definitely keep them that way. Oh, we have a couple more. Dude, the Terran changes are a joke. It's more buffs than anything, and that list is short compared to the other races. Yeah. Let's just buff spore crawlers so I can turtle hard and it's the party same guy. on a kappa. <laughs> it's the same guy. Naruto Rasengan. Stop it. Stop it. You make yourself look stupid, okay? This is the same guy that recommended the spore crawler buff. So he's looking at the amount of changes? I have heard that in the past, actually. Where people are like, okay, so I look at the patch notes and Zerg got one, two, three, four, five nerfs. And Terran only got one, two, three nerfs. That means Zerk got nerfed harder. This is not how balance works, man. It's the amount of changes is not relevant to how much something gets nerfed. 
But last year I got 47 presents. Yeah. It is like the f Harry Potter section, man. I hated that part in the book so much where they go out to the mall to get more presents because last year he had more. Uh, that really, yeah, that was, yeah, not good. Ooh, that is what we should do. We should have a look at how the Battle.net forums are vibing with the newly announced Battle.net, uh, or the, the newly announced StarCraft 2 changes. The first post. Rejoice! Protals nerfed in update. Disruptors nerfed. Carriers destroyed. Just overall army buffs to Brute Lords, Hydras, and Ultralists. Queen being untouched is just a good change. Terrans got buffed to Raven. Mm. Ghost basically getting enhanced shockwaves out of the gate. Mass... No. <laughs> no. Massive nerf against Zerg with snipe change. Warranted. Benchy doesn't really matter versus Toss. And Cyclone seems Hope like a to nerf. See new builds if and when these changes will go live. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna see some more, um, especially Cyclone based play probably. I mean, there's a chance for some battle mech again, I think. And we'll probably also see more timing attacks out of Protoss. Wouldn't be surprised with the Forge changes. Anyways, thank you very much, Holora. Don't know what patch you were looking at, but a 0 0.3 range nerf to Disruptors means nothing. It isn't even the length of a Roach. I think the Benshee change might be bigger in TVP than in TVZ. Okay, you know what? So far, not too bad. <laughs> this guy is flexing with being masters too. <laughs> that is not the flex you think it is, Beardo. It's it's really not, man. It doesn't make you the uh, the authority on balance on the forums. I can tell you that much, man. People just get so angry at each other, you know. Like there's a lot of name calling on the forums all the time. This isn't just a nerf. Protoss late game versus Zerk will be completely dead. Interceptor priority being reduced means that Zerk can just magic box Corruptors on top of carriers now, which means Storm and Archons are going to be way less effective against them. I actually think in general, air-to-air -air battle is kind of boring in StarCraft 2. Like, all the flying units are not super interesting to look at. Question for poor tosses. How can you even continue playing the game knowing every win against Terran contains zero skill expression, because Bio will always lose to Disruptors, Colossus, Storm, etc. While Mech will always lose to Immortal Zealot Arc on A move, no matter how much defense you build. <laughs> I love this so much. Uh, uh, uh. It's impossible to believe in a human who gets pleasure out of cannon rushing, going Dark Templars when behind for an auto win. Since you can snipe turrets, a move, and Colossus charge slot against Bio, which is an automatic win against 99.99999% of the player base, etc. I feel like this guy probably lost one game. He probably lost one game, and that triggered him enough to make this entire post. Like, if he put as much effort into studying the replay that he lost, he probably would have actually learned something. But no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, man. Wait, who is this? Is is that is this a new person? Because we used to, like... I used to go to the farms quite regularly. Probably wrote this as a twit longer to Keck. Wouldn't be surprised. I used to go to the StarCraft farms quite frequently, and there were a lot of people shouting at each other the entire time. But when you looked at the actual nicknames, it was basically the same dozen or so people that were just arguing with each other. So it was, like, literally, like, they were arguing for years. Like, just years. Thousands of posts each. I don't know if that's still the case. This guy's barcoding on the forum with 3,000 posts. <laughs> it never stops me to wonder how do Terrans even able to combine in their head that type of thought? Okay, I'm not even going to try and comprehend what you just wrote. Terran is the hardest race because we micro, we split, we focus fire, and so on. But we still have problems against Disruptors, Storm. Yes, I can't micro like Maru. Move A click is micro too. Not when it comes from Zerk or Toss. Protoss is F2 A click race. Nerf disruptors. What should I do? He drops Storm on my army from the prism. Every time I leave that like that, mm, you know what? Dropping Storm sounds like a lot of micro actually. I'm back. Fairy a clap. <sighs> Thank you, Alonely. Every time I leave the base, Toss warps Zealots into my main. Stupid Dark Templar again blinked and killed my PF, but Protoss is still F2 A click. <laughs> this isn't even about the patch. This this is nothing to do about the patch. Let's read the comments. Let's read the comments on the announcement, actually. Most of these changes look nice. I agree. 
I like any changes, including the stupid ones, because they change something in the gameplay. Okay, these are... <laughs> what a joke! Terran nerfed again! Bias Protoss and Zerg team balance. Ghost Raven doesn't need a nerf. Or, sorry, doesn't a nerf. LOL, Terran nerfed more. It's the same guy. You realize that moving units can move away and ghost target gets disabled? Ghosts are useless now. <laughs> Here's my perspective as a Master 1 slash Grandmaster Terran player. We all know what this means. We all know what this means, right? When someone writes as a high diamond, low master, you're high diamond. We all know what that means. This guy is definitely... Anyways, it's too much, dude. Too much text. Way too much. Massive nerfs to protals with minor quality of life changes. I saw not too long ago that people on the forums were claiming that Harston was the only one in charge of balance. Wouldn't really make a lot of sense, though, if Harston were to, like, you know... I think you forgot a lurker buff, guys? ZVT... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's being ironic. Okay, I had a hard time reading that one. ZVT late game was already very hard for Terran, but now it's unwinnable. People jump to these really strong words. I think that's what bothers me. I see this on social media all the time as well in like article headlines. People using words like unwinnable, destroyed, slammed. Like it, it's, it, that's no, it's just, it's just not, not true. You don't have to use the most extreme version of a, a, a word to explain what you're trying to say. Maybe I should use that in YouTube titles too, man. Maybe I need to use slammed. <laughs> Smashed, unwinnable. Uh, you know what, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That actually does sound pretty good. Ghost got nuked. <laughs> okay, that one's pretty clever. Hey, is this you, Gabe? This has to be Gabe. Yeah, 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 100% Gabe. Inevitable? Inevitable is too difficult a word. Shout out to Ravens getting gutted because of TBT. That's pretty much the only matchup where people currently make Ravens, though. So, like, adjusting the Raven for TVT, even if it would be considered an overall nerf, if it would make it useful in the other matchups, would still be a buff overall. You see what I mean? Zerg got massive... Like, if you actually make a Raven now in Terran versus Protoss or Terran versus Zerg, it's still a buff overall. Because it doesn't change the win-loss ratio in TVT. <laughs> Less turret spam and more viability. <laughs> Who let the Town Hall guy out of his pen? Also, <laughs> the town hall guy. I forgot about the town hall guy. What's up with this balance patch? I feel like I live in a bizarro world playing a game no one cares about. On one hand, most players are way too low of a level for mech slash sky tolls to even matter. And on the other hand, every single player between 3.5k and 5.3k that plays Terran or Toss uses these two strategies. Their end games are Siege, A-Move, Thor, Hellbat, and A-Move Carriers while pressing Storm. Why are we not addressing any of the cancerous strategies so many master slash low GM players abuse? They are addressing that, bro. This f***ing Beardo guy. Like, they've literally... Ad uh, I can't read it. The nerfs aren't enough. Terrans were so much weaker than Protals that the very slight changes to balance don't change anything. Do people, like, do people just look at their own games as their only source of information? I think that has to be it. Like, I'm pretty sure nobody that, like, writes stuff like this has any, any idea about what's actually going on in the pro scene. Yeah, the sample size is one. So someone responded saying, Protoss get to win more free games despite being worst players by every metric. Lower APM, more unspent resources, more time supply blocked, etc. I like this one in particular, right over here, because the warp-in mechanic literally forces you to... Yeah. Anyways, now that you're patching the game, let's see. Lower the MMR cap for 2v2 to promote a healthy ladder. Remove Grandmaster Archon. Oh, okay, you know what? These are reasonable. I don't think that's a bad idea. Yeah, you know what? A lot of this is not too, too bad. A lot of these are already pretty old, too. So honestly, it's not the end of the world. Hope everyone is ready for another Terran Final Four in the GSL. <laughs> if we're lucky, some Zerks will get in. <laughs> well then. Here's Beardo again. We need more Beardo. I need more Beardo in my life. Can we find... I, I'm. Do you think Beardo shares how good he is at the game? Okay. Beardo does share his games. 
every once in a while, and this is my favorite part about going to the forums, every once in a while you have someone who's like talking to forums over and over and over again, constantly whining about balance. But then what they do is they hide their profile. So you can't actually look at what their skill level is. <laughs> I found a picture of Beardo. Are you coming to bed? I can't. This is important. What? Someone is wrong on the internet. Yeah, duty calls, man. Can't go to bed before that time. You need to tell them. They will definitely give you the win. I think you are sharing your games and your profile by default, and you have to like manually turn it off so people can't see what your letter rank is. I actually think that the balance in StarCraft 2 is pretty good right now. Welcome to Loco TV, where gaming meets strategy. I'm your host, Loco, and I'm excited to be streaming some of my favorite games for you today. This is a place where we can talk about strategy, share tips and tricks, and just to have a good time gaming together. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the action. Okay. Explain nightmare difficulty in StarCraft 2. In StarCraft 2, Nightmare Difficulty is the hardest level of AI difficulty. In this setting, the AI opponent will be able to make use of all the abilities and strategies at its disposal, and it will be able to react and adapt quickly to your actions. This means that you will need to be on the top of your game in order to defeat the AI on Nightmare Difficulty. It is not recommended for players who are new to the game or who do not have a lot of experience with real-time strategy games. <sighs> Excellent. How do I get people to subscribe to my Twitch live stream? There are a few cute things you can do to encourage viewers to subscribe. First, make sure you're providing high quality content that's engaging and entertaining. Oh my, it's too much. Too, too much. Too much. How to be a sellout on Twitch. I'm sorry, but I cannot... <laughs> I can't do that. This is too much, man. Mm. Mm, okay. Well, anyways, welcome back, guys. This is this is an amazing AI, dude. I was just messing around with this for a little bit. Write a funny tweet for Loco TV. Let's see. Here's a possible funny tweet. Just finished a marathon gaming session, and I'm feeling like a true pro. Or at least a real high-level amateur. <laughs> that is 100% something I could tweet. Okay, write another one. Trying to explain to my non-gamer friends why I'm addicted to Loco TV. It's like trying to explain calculus to a potato. <laughs> there you go, man. This is, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty funny. This thing is actually nuts, though. I'm pretty sure that some people use this for all kinds of things that are maybe a little bit more questionable. Like, write a newsletter about productivity. Like an email newsletter. Look at this. It writes the whole thing. Look at this. It just writes the whole thing. Actually amazing. It's by OpenAI. <laughs> this would work 100%. Can you get it to do your taxes? Probably. It's called OpenAI GPT. Yes, that's it. Can you ask it to write a never-ending story? Write a never-ending story. Is that a thing? Does it know? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if it's a. I don't know if it's aware, guys. I'm not even sure what that means. I th I think it actually gets stuck, doesn't it? Oh, no. Okay. This is actually insane, man. You don't even have to do any work. <laughs> you can't destroy it very easily, apparently. Make a StarCraft 2 related cooking recipe for Christmas. This is really random. <laughs> do you think I can do something stupid like this? 
You've already used this to do your homework? Yeah, man. Unironically, not a terrible idea. Spicy protos prawns. Half a pound of large prawns peeled and deveined. Okay. <laughs> it just keeps going. Whether you're a hardcore StarCraft 2 fan or just looking for a tasty and festive appetizer, these spicy prawns are sure to satisfy. There you go. Write a loco tweet about the new StarCraft 2 balance patch. Do you think I can figure that out? So I think it now analyzes what I usually tweet, and then it looks up the new StarCraft 2 balance patch, and then it tries to figure out a tweet like that. Here's a possible tweet. Just checked out the new StarCraft 2 balance patch and I'm loving the changes. The buffs to Protoss and nerf to Zerk are really shaking things up. <laughs> That's so good though. Like you genuinely don't, if you have writer's block or something or you can't figure out, you know, the start of, it, like there's a lot of uh, actual like real world applications. The new StarCraft 2 balance patch is live and I can't wait to jump into the game and try out the changes. Time to see if my builds are still viable. Dude! What do you think of the Hydralisk Corruptor unit composition in StarCraft 2? I don't know what it responds with or how this works, but... Yeah, it works in Dutch as well. I tried it in Dutch earlier. It does work. Do you think it understands meta jokes? Because this is a bit of a meta joke for sure. Ah, okay, okay. He can't have opinions on video games. I think he can, but he's probably just not there yet. But should just close the chat window. Write a StarCraft 2 joke. I think I messed up the two. Do you think that matters? There's an extra space. Why was the Zerk player bad at math? Because he couldn't count his drones. <laughs> That's... Okay, all right. It's not bad. It's not, it's not bad, dude. Would have been funnier before we had the counter above the hatcheries. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Why did the Terran lose a game of StarCraft 2? Because he was too busy building supply be depots to actually build an army? Yeah, it's got the same humor as me, dude. Pathetic and bad. Hold up, Fear Dragon always has a lot of good StarCraft puns on his Twitter. Write a fear... No, it's lowercase, right? He gets some very... Okay, write a Fear Dragon tweet about StarCraft 2. He, he always had a lot of puns on his Twitter and stuff. Let, let's see. So who has now written this? Did an AI write this? Did I write it because I gave it the assignment? Did the developers that made this AI? Just played a crazy game of StarCraft 2 and I'm still high on action. Just the back and forth battles between Protoss and Terran were intense. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Uh, write an email to my boss. Or write an angry but professional email to my boss. What do you think it does? Do you think it'll come up with something? No, 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 I did write angry. I thought I wrote angry for a little bit. Dear boss, I am writing to express my extreme frustration and disappointment with the recent decision to action that has caused frustration. As you are well aware, this decision will have significant negative impact on consequence of decision. I've been loyal and dedicated employee. Dude, this is sick though, like genuinely. People can sit in front of their computer for an hour to just write one little paragraph to... Actually cool. Actually cool. Oh yeah. No, uh, AI can definitely uh, take over a couple of jobs.